Hey, welcome back to SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant Badass. I am sick today. I am like extremely sick. Like I said, my kid was getting me sick. I got sick. It's really bad. And um, I am not doing good. But we are going to do a leather craft video. And that will be way easier on my life to do that. And I can show you something really cool. You might get an awesome idea from doing what I'm about to do right now. I'm going to pull you over here because this is going to be kind of one of those videos. I don't want it to be too long. But I want, I want you to get the point and understand it. Okay. Come on over here. Okay, some of you may have remembered the Viking axe build where uh, this is the axe that killed Thor, right? So, this is the one I was going to take with me on the hiking trip. I want to make something today that's rather unique and different for an axe sheath, and you don't see a lot of. But what I've got here, I had to get this piece wet because it's... Oh, excuse me. If you see the thickness of that leather compared, people always ask me about the thickness of leather, right? Like something like this, this thick versus something that's this thick. If you can lay those side by side, you can tell the difference right away. This is super thin, but you could use it to make a knife sheath. You can make all kinds of stuff out of this. It, it's endless what you can make out of this. I don't have a preference when it comes to what size uh, leather to use for certain things but uh, I've got a nice edge left on this one this is this is something I got from Tandy leather like I said before uh, people always ask me but I, I gotta remind them when I make the video what leather company I go to let Tandy usually uh, they have a website I believe so this is some good thickness I don't know if it's too thick but we will soon find out and what I am going to do here is I'm going to need two pieces of this. So I'm just going to try and use as much material as I can out of this one piece so I can make it out of the same sheet, if you know what I mean. Let's see here. Um, so I've got this form here. you got to keep in mind, if you can see this here, you've got this arch in the X, and you want to be able... Um, to keep because if you close it all the way up when you go to pull it out it's going to start trying to cut into the side here so you want to try and keep the top as open as possible right you can't go with the contours of the line of the axe all the way because once you go with those contours of the line there you're not going to be able to get the axe out or it's just going to start cutting everything up so what I'm going to do here I'm going to marry this up and we'll show you what I got that's that's what I've got there, and then we're gonna we're gonna start drawing on this to get our idea, right? Our idea here. Now, this is when I'm gonna use the chalk. Okay, you can use a a red crayon. I think a red crayon even works. Let's see. Yep, red crayon works too. But I'm gonna use chalk for this one. A lot of people that work with leather use chalk. But basically, I'm just gonna go straight down. I just want to know where that line is basically I want to trace out the outline and then then I can curve then I can get artsy if I want to right so I just need to go up let's see let's bring this over just a little bit because a little bit of the axe can can stick out it's no big deal I want to try and use as much as this as possible but I might not be able to so I'm probably gonna to have to scoop this down a little bit more it's not gonna have enough room but that's the reason why I, I do this. I check to see how much material I can actually use. So I can get a rivet in there. So that's good. You see that right there? Got a little bit of room there. I can get a rivet in there. So the reason why I use rivets on an axe. You know, people ask that question too. Why don't I stitch it? Well, I can use less leather. That's the first point. And then the second, uh, when I use less leather, it can hold, uh, hold it together better. All right, let's see. Here are my sniffles. I'm pretty sniffly. Alright. There's that. Now I have a, a general idea. Now I want to come up. Because I want it to have a cool look to it. Boom. Just like that. And then I think I'm going to go... I'm going to go up. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with the contours of the lines if I can. 
Let's see. I just want to know where the X is going to be. And if I can't, then you know what I mean? I won't. Um, but it's always good to know where, where the X actually is and how much material I'm actually going to need. Just like that. Now, that should do that. Now I can get this out of the way. And yes, you can get these scissors in the sewing section. This is the ones I use for everything. And when I wear these down, I get new ones. These are my favorite. And they're also Sippy's favorite. And she's always jacking them. Because that's what Sippy does. All right. I don't want this to take forever. Let me cut this out. All right, I've got that piece cut out, and I'm thinking about just kind of snipping off this edge here. That way, I can use another piece of this leather. You use what you can, right? Because you're not always going to have the right uh, the right amount of everything, right? So, because I want to keep this high, because I need to cover the blade. That's the point of that. So I'm just going to line this up. And I can cut this by hand. And let me get this cut out and I'll be right back. Alright, let's see what this looks like. Now this is going to be different. It's not going to be what you would typically expect by making an axe sheath. I'm going to tell you right now. Alright, so I've got this opening here. And I don't need that. I need to mark that first. Let's get rid of that. Just kind of ran that off. Then we'll come around. See how that looks. We can do all the fine detailed stuff when when we get a little closer to our goal here. So I might have to stitch. I might actually have to stitch that back side. I'm not sure yet. So I don't know if that's going to reach. But it's alright because it, I didn't have enough material to begin with. So I might have to improvise a little. Like I said, you got to keep this opening here. Because you're going to have to have enough room to get that blade in and out. Because it's just not going to work if you don't. Um, you might need like one rivet here. Just to kind of hold this center. The rest is going to hold it all together. But you can kind of do a rivet here and then a rivet here and that'll hold that center part together for you and then getting this bandaged up back here I'm gonna need more material than that so I'm probably gonna make a uh, a fold that comes in there uh, let's see okay I'm just trying to picture this all right so I've got the other end all right. I gotta put this other end together and I gotta trim off the excess on that hang on a sec all right so I've got that now I'm gonna have to uh, I'm going to have to come up with a backing for this, and I want it to be a two-tone. I don't want this thing to look exactly the same through and through like anything else. I want it to have a little bit different color to it. And once this gets stained, it'll probably look different. But I could go with a totally different color. I think that's a big enough back piece. I could just reuse this piece here. It's already got a hole in it. But yeah, I could come around the back side there and give it enough room. Basically... I'm making a back, a backing here. That's already got a hole, but I'm gonna go ahead and just redo that whole backing there. But first, I need to see how much I need before I go cutting into it, because I don't need much. All right, how wide am I going? Right here. So you just line it up. This is this is if you don't have a whole lot of material, right? So you're going to need to cut off, make yourself something here for the back. It's kind of like a little back strap, right? Go around there like that. You just got to see how much room you got. Marry the two pieces up again, right? Just like this and see how much room you've actually got because right about there is where your rivets are going to go this is going to come all the way up to the top like that put your other piece up there like this and just take a look and see how much room you've got now you could just stitch that up 
right there, but I don't know if I want to do that. I might do that. Actually, I might stitch that. Let's give it a shot and punch some holes. When I was doing the holes, I decided something. I figured I'd make more holes. <laughs> so, uh, instead of just doing the holes across the back side here and connecting this strap together and bringing these two together closer by using my leather that I've cut out in strips, huh, I got to looking at it better and I'm like, well, I could do something crazier to that and I think it would be cool. So, what I've done here is I've punched this is a spot for rivet rivet and then there's another one and another one right that'll hold my blade and then I'm gonna braid the whole thing up but what I'm gonna do on the back side which I think this will be this will probably be the back and this will probably be the front what I'll do here is uh, I'm gonna bring some loops over I think I think kind of a scout carry kind of thing would be cool so what I'm going to do here, that way I can run it through some molly if I need to, uh, and connect it to my pack if I need to. So what I'll do, let's see, I think come from here, let's see, here, and here, or about there, that should look good, alright. Now I gotta punch two more holes here. Alright, let me punch these holes. Alright, now we need to run a rivet. A rivet. Just to hold a part of this together here. My rivet's down. Because I don't want it falling to pieces on me when I'm trying to put this thing together. So what I'll do is I'll hold one part of this together so I can get the whole thing put together. All I gotta do, that way it's all lined up and I can move this around and and uh, play around with the idea of what it's going to look like. This gives me another idea of right where I can trim off any excess that's not supposed to be there too. That helps. Alright, bring this over here. Punch my rivet in. Here, see that? There you go. There we go. That brings that together. Now, I can focus on, see it keeps it together nice and straight. I know it's a little crude on the outside, but I'm going to fix that. It'll it'll look good, trust me. Alright, let's see. Um, there's that. And then, I've got this nice, thick strap here. I just kind of want to see where this would end up being. But I could fix that on my own later so I don't need to worry about that I just need to see where this strap will end up this is pin to pretend this is the back side of it right alright so this is just going to come over the top boom boom so right about there alright set that down cut off that make sure it's straight yeah that'll work whatever cut another piece the same length this should do the trick actually this might be too thick I might need to get something else which that's fine actually something a little bit thinner than that that way I don't freaking because that is way too flipping thick all right Boom. Throw that over in the pile. Give me another piece here. Boom. Alright. Let me square off this piece. Alright, I've got these. This this hole punched for this strap that's gonna go across the back side. Like I said, I've got it I've gotta get this done before I go any further. I can't hem it up. I can go ahead and get this in place though and have an idea of where everything else is going to go no one's going to, like I said, no one's going to see the back side but I need to go ahead and get it done before it's too late there we go 
and figure out where the other one's gonna go. No, no, no. Do, 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 do. There we go. Then I can put my. Uh, let's see. Dang it. I would do that, wouldn't I? Yeah, it's alright. I can just punch a hole in it. It's no big deal. Go ahead and get this part out of the way and I can move to the front. Don't worry, it looks like a mess right now, but trust me, you'll see how it all comes together. But you gotta get this done before you can close it all up. Or you're gonna be left with a mess. Alright, now bring this over the top and then see kind of where you're going to put your fasteners because you can cut these down any length you want later on. You don't have to do that yet, but this is going to work as your back strap and everything else in the process there. But I think I'm going to do one and two, let's see, one, two, like that, and then right over here, same place, let's see, lay that there, one, and then two, just like that. I could go further down. I want to do that. How far does that go? Eh. How far does that go? Eh. I won't make it. Yeah, but that's going to be closer together. That's right. Eh. This will work. I don't need anything fancy. That'll work. Now i got to punch bigger holes so I can put my uh, fasteners in. Alright, now I can put my fasteners in. And these are going to be the outside. These are going to be the inside ones. So... Uh, I'm going to have, I think that's so small, get your butt out of here, and you, and you too, now I see what I'm doing, because there's my large, there we go, there's a large, give me another large, Alright, let me find all this. Okay, I gotta lay out my lay out my rivets here. Alright, these are just gonna come through. Put this down. It's a bigger one. It's one. And later on, I'll I'll put the other the other snaps on these, but I gotta hem it up first to figure out where all that's gonna go in the first place. But this will work for now, just to get it closed up and figure out where everything else is gonna go. One of these is going to be smaller than the rest of them. There's nothing I can do about it, but it'll be alright. It's going to be kind of a wacky build anyway. I'll take what I can get. Alright, now I've got all that together. These will come over like this, but I haven't determined my length or where the other snaps are even going to go in the first place. So, first things first, I'm going to have to finish riveting it all together. So... I'm going to put this in here, and this in here, see what I mean? And these little spots where I've already got them ready to go. And then, since this is the front, I want the front to look okay. So, 
I'll use the hammer on the front and let the back fall wherever. And that's just how I do that to keep from messing anything up. Just like that. Let my pieces fall over the place. No big deal, right? And here. Boom. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to need a whole lot of rivets the way I'm doing it now. And like I said, when I'm done, it's going to clean all this stuff up. So it'll look good. Hang on a second. Now we got to stitch it up. I've got my three rivets. That's all I'm going to be using. And like I said, these will be snaps. And this will go under my Molly gear on the outside of my pack. Come around and then snap like that and hold on to the back of my pack. If I want it there, that's just an option. That's that's what I wanted. Also, it works as just to hold it in, right? So now, you cut out strips of this stuff here, just leather. Let's get yourself some leather. If you have to, you can take a square, uh, a square piece, and just cut spirals until you get this, right? And some of you may actually get bags that come with this already, and some won't. All right, but you take a let's see, take the shorter piece, and like I said before, when I do these, I run all the way through. And I figured this would go with the theme since I've already got this stuff done to this already. I thought this would look nice, so that's kind of what I'm going for. But yeah, you just bring these together like this, and just do it kind of uh, do it kind of loose. You don't want it super tight or anything. And just kind of go over just like that and you can tie all this up when you're done you don't have to get in a hurry just go up and over just like that go up and over You can come up with a way to tie it when you get to the end. But you don't have to tie it off until you're completely done with the project, right? That's that's the way I do it. I, I just wait till I'm done. And then I can determine how much and uh, how little I'm going to need. Because I'm not going to tighten any of that up until I'm done. Until this is in there, I'll tighten all this stuff up when all this is done, right? That's how you're supposed to do it. All right, let me stitch all this right here up. I'm going to go around here, then I'll bring you back. All right, I got this side done. Now I need to come up and around here. Okay, hang tight. And just so you know, I forgot to mention, I do a cross pattern here, just like I do back here. This, is, this isn't this is a cross. This is a like a lace, like lacing in a shoe. And then up here, I do a cross stitch. This is where you overlap and uh, cross over the next one and then cross over the next one. It's it's a similar to this, but you'll see kind of if you want this, this pattern here uh, versus this. It's a lot like doing what I'm about to do now. I wanted to show you real quick. I just tie a knot in one end of this and pull it through like this. And then what I do is I just go over and then back up through the top. And sometimes when you have a little trouble getting these in here, you just cut these out better, just like that. Now, like that. See? <laughs> that was much easier. Anyways, but yeah, I do this when I'm going around stuff like this on the inside. It's not going to look right if you don't, to be honest. You could do a cross stitch if you wanted to, but it's not going to turn out good. Um, but I might not have enough. I just kind of wanted to show you this part of it real quick before I get too far ahead of you. But yeah, this is, I mean, this is kind of just the do-it-yourselfer of your own design because you're not going to have this axe, for one. You could have a different axe, but this kind of gives you a general idea of something else to go with. But yeah, like I said, that, that piece isn't going to be long enough, and I'm going to have to cut... 
Uh, I might have to cut a lot longer piece to finish up that, that loop. But yeah, you're going to end up probably cutting some of this stuff out. And you can take strips if you've got, like I had over here a while ago, I had a strip like this. All you got to do is take your take your scissors and marry it up and just, just start cutting. And you could end up with some more, enough to finish the project, right? And that's all I really need is just enough to get the job done to finish this up. But you don't want to do a cross pattern on the inside because it's going to be really hard to keep that going all the way through and through. But this will be a long enough piece to finish from beginning to end. Yeah, that'll make it all the way through. Alright, let me wrap through it and I'll show you what it looks like. When you close it off and you don't want it in the front, you you don't want a knot in the front, and you want it kind of in the back, you can come up through here like this um, and tighten it. Kind of bring it up through here. It's going to make like a cross stitch pattern. Get your pair of pliers. You've already got this going on. You just kind of grab it, pull it tight, and pull it back through. Like that. I don't want it showing in the front. I want it to be in the back hidden. And it'll stay behind that because it's going to have a lot of tension on it. Just like that. Now no one's going to see it. And that's what that's going to look like. Doesn't look too bad so far. Let's put it like that right now and then let's try and get this this axe in here let me let me try and mess with this real quick and then we'll mess with these laces in the back like I said you'll have to work with it a little bit and it's gonna have a break-in process but these rivets will keep it from cutting anything and that's all I need and then I'll still get that look I was going for from that and then these are gonna come over the top and buckle it down um, this point comes all the way to the end like it's supposed to I'm just trying to kind of push it around because it's going to be uh, kind of you know just moving it around is going to be one thing you're going to have to do for a little bit to get it all straightened up and then once again like I said the back strap up here I'm going to have to pull this up till I get it where I want it and uh, so that should work. There we go. And then I just pull these until I get them. See what I'm doing here? I'm just kind of pulling these until I get the slack out of them. I don't want I don't want a lot of slack in them. See this one here, and then that one goes there, and then make sure that one's tight. You just kind of grab each one and just kind of give them a little yank. Just kind of pull on them. You're not going to be able to do it by by hand without pliers. You're going to have to grab it with something. It's just too just too slick for your hand. And then this will give it that more desired look. Let's see there. Pull that one and that one. And then let's see. I'm not going to be able to get it too tight on the end here, so I'm just going to, so I won't be able to get it to come off if I do that. There we go. So I'm thinking like that. So it's going to have to be unlaced a little bit in the back, or it's just it's just not going to, you know what I mean? Because if you tighten that up too much, it's just not going to come out of the sheath at all. Uh, it just won't slide down the neck. See what I mean? You've got to have that loose. Like I said, this is going to have a break-in process. It's going to stretch. Once I get these pulled over the top here, this thing's all going to be stretching everything. Let me get this straightened up right back here. And uh, 
Be right back. All right. See, I got the back strap all, all uh, organized the way it should be. Now, uh, if I have to later on, all I got to do is redo it. You know what I mean? Or you know, tighten it up more, loosen it up more, whatever I need to do. If whatever happens in the future. But yeah, this is just to carry the thing on my pack if I need to and uh, give it some character and it'll break in it'll have a break in process for a while you know when once it gets broken all the way uh, this thing will I won't have to tinker with it anymore now what I do here uh, I need to finish this up so I'm gonna bring this over and give it a tug not too tight and then just sort of determine where these are going to go. Put some pressure on them. I should have marks. And then with those marks, I go ahead and I make my my holes. Or I just I give them a better mark, and then I'll I'll pull them over here in a minute. That's the best way to do that. Once again, like with this one, I just bring it over. I lay it on to where it's going to go, and then I apply some pressure, and it'll leave an indention on both of those, and then I can put a better, now all I got to do is punch my larger holes, and then install everything. Alright, oh, what do you think of that? Is that cool? Let's see how the back looks. Hey, I told you I'd clean that up. Look, back doesn't look so bad at all. But anyways, these will run when you unsnap these like this. You can, once you remove both of them, you can take it out. And also, these run through my Molly gear on the back of my pack and come around just like that and snap. Then this just hangs there off the back of my pack. Also... I can run a belt loop through here or run it over my belt loop and wear it around when I'm hiking around without my pack if I need my axe for whatever reason. There's the back. There you go. <coughs> yep, still sick. This will all mold out eventually. It'll all take shape the way it should. <coughs> anyway. Okay, so even though I'm sick, I still got it taken care of, and now this could go with me on my trip, because I have something to carry it in. See, I don't need to etch anything on it, because it's already, it's got plenty going on there. I don't need to add any more to it. Then it's just going to get plain ridiculously tacky, but yeah, that'll work out pretty good. The build for this axe... Those of you that uh, might be new, the build for this axe is in the playlist and uh, Leathercraft and stuff like that and then the axe builds because I did a couple of them already. Uh, I didn't want to keep doing axe builds, but we're going to do more leather work. I've got more stuff planned because more people have asked for more stuff. And uh, yeah, but anyway, that was this and I hope you enjoyed it. There you go. And uh, you're watching SOS. I'm Stop Serving Badass. I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> take it easy.